Trying to make Kentucky roads safer one cell phone at a time, state lawmakers may get a chance to debate making the Commonwealth a completely hands-free state. Fox 56's Bodie Brooks explains the bill and talks to a family touched by the impact of not paying attention behind the wheel. The moment many take for granted. A quick glance at your phone costs lives and an alarming rate in Kentucky, which ranks second in the nation in distracted driving deaths. House Bill 258 calls for putting the phone down when behind the wheel. And this was such a preventable tragedy. And it could happen to anyone, anytime. In 2015, Kathy Strack's brother, Mark, died when a distracted truck driver slammed into him. He'd been texting for a very long time. Uh, wasn't paying attention. Hit a broken down car on the side of the road, careened across the median, and hit my brother head on going over 70 miles an hour. It, it was just heartbreaking and devastating for all of us. Representative James Tipton wants to tighten Kentucky's road laws, raising the penalty above just texting. It's very difficult for them to enforce the texting law uh, because uh, do they know if somebody's texting or if they're on their email or they're on Twitter? The bill would still let you talk on the phone, but it would have to be over Bluetooth or something wireless. If I was trying to do like this on the phone, it wouldn't be allowed, right? That, that is correct. But well, we do know it's uh, increasing. Distractions have certainly increased. Mark Treesh of the Insurance Institute of Kentucky agrees it's a growing problem and one you too have likely faced in traffic. How many times have you been sitting behind somebody when the light turns green and they don't go? Obviously, they have their eyes on the phone. Since her brother's passing, Kathy has launched the nonprofit Two Eyes Just Drive, advocating for laws like this hoping others don't have to experience the same tragedy. Saturday will be seven years since it happened. Um, it seems like forever and yesterday all at the same time. Now, the bill does let you swipe with your finger to answer a call, but that's about it. The bill was just filed yesterday, so it's still in the beginning stages of the committee process. Live in Lexington, Bodie Brooks, Fox 56 News.